that there's a very serious problem with the western world western civilization that includes i mean european and even arabic culture where they wonder why we have so many gods and that has made many many conclude that we are idol worshippers and we are polytheistic and english people have given so many names coming from greek traditions we are this we are that but the vedic tradition and consequently the hindu tradition it is strictly the infinite worshipper just that our sages understood what truly infinite means and knowing very well that their followers that means we we won't be able to understand what really infinite means so they try to present it in various ways and one very important thing that they taught us infinite being infinite it can appear to us in any number of ways earlier also we discussed that even if you go by mathematical infinity is a mind boggling thing infinity in physics is a highly confusing thing confusing thing and for most of us we the commoners infinity means very big large infinity is none of these infinity means infinity for example a uh, simple example that we can have is zero zero has strange properties you add zero to some number number even some change multiplied with zero the whole thing becomes zero put zero on the top as power the whole thing comes down to 1 like 5 to the power zero becomes 1 so zero has very strange properties unlike other numbers just like that infinite in spirituality has very strange properties one of those properties is that it appears as the finite universe one of its properties is that it appears as this inert object pen one of its uh, properties is that it appears as any number of gods and goddesses that is why said ekam sadvi prabodha vadanti god is one says is called by various names second thing is that we have this special quality in india that whenever we think of some quality be that human be that divine we like to give it a personality those of you might have read my book tia that's what we have done in tia that we have taken emotions certain qualities and given it a personality because journey of every spiritual aspirant is through these emotions so that's how it has been shown case is essentially a spiritual book now if you look at these gods and goddesses on the one hand they represent one particular quality or combination of qualities and power they are more like masks of the infinite because you cannot pray to the infinite you cannot contemplate upon the infinite and that's why you need masks covering is required when something is in, is extremely precious or extremely subtle that's what our ancient sages our ancestors taught us